Hey guys, I'm back with a new video today. Today I am going for a fall look because today, well, the day that I'm filming it, not necessarily the day that I'm posting it or that you're watching this, but it's the first day of fall. And I just incorporated some brown, some gold, just colors that scream fall to me. So if you want to recreate this look or you want to just see how I did it, just keep on watching. So you want to start out with a clean, already moisturized face. Then I'm going in with the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer and just going to start rubbing that all over my face. Then I'm going in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I was recommended it by a lady at Sephora and I don't really know if it's my perfect foundation like she said. I'm a little bit more on the dry side and it's a little bit matte and honestly I probably wouldn't repurchase it because it's not really anything special to me especially for the price. This was pretty expensive. So for concealer, I'm going in with my beloved Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. As you can see, I love it and yes, the hype and the rave about it is true. It is so good. I love that the brush is so big and you could just easily just put it everywhere you need it. And just go ahead and blend all of that out with a damp beauty blender. Now moving on to the eyes, I already did one eye off camera and today we are going to be using the Morphe 350 palette, my favorite. I'm taking this shade right here and I'm going to be brushing that along my crease as a transition color. Then taking this shade from the Morphe palette, I'm going to be brushing that along the crease as well to blend in with the transition shade. Now taking a fluffier crease brush, I'm taking this lighter brown shade and also dusting that along the crease, just making sure to blend and just to darken up the crease area. Now taking that reddish brown shade, you want to dust that along your crease as well and just continue to blend and dust those colors together. I know so many colors, but we're taking this deeper reddish brown shade and darkening up the outer corners of the crease even more. Now taking a flatter brush, I'm using this gold foiled color in the palette. And to make my color more pigmented, what I like to do is spray it with some rose water and then begin packing that onto the lid. And I also find that sometimes it helps just dipping your finger onto the pigment and just pressing that onto the lid. It livens up the color even more. Now to blend those colors together, I'm mixing these two deeper brown shades and just dusting that along the crease as well just to mix the pigment and the shadows. And I'm taking a fluffier brush and taking these two shades and using that to highlight my brow bone. 
then taking a very small shader brush, I'm taking this more golden toned foiled shadow and using that to highlight my inner corners. For eyeliner, I'm taking my IT Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Eyeliner and I'm just using that to tight line my waterline. For liquid liner, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild H2O Eyeliner and I'm just going to draw a simple wing as usual. and I'm going to pop some falsies on off camera. That is optional, but you could always just go in with the mascara. Then I'm taking my Morphe palette again and going in with a smaller definer brush and using those transition shades to underline my lower lash line. Then I'm taking that reddish brown mixed with the deeper reddish brown and dusting that along my lower lash line as well. Then I'm going to go over my lashes with my Estee Lauder mascara. For bronzing, I'm going to be using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and just taking a big fluffy brush and start dusting that along your face. Then I'm taking the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and doing the same thing I did with the previous bronzer. Then taking a more precise contour brush, I'm going to be using that to chisel my cheekbones. And I'm taking pretty much my Holy Grail blush, which is Luminosa by Milani. And I'm going to be using a fluffy brush to dust that along the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm taking the Manizer Sisters palette and I'm taking the Mary Luminizer and using that as my highlight. Then for lips, I'm taking the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Hollywood Boulevard. And that's basically it guys. I hope you guys like this fall inspired easy go-to look it's really easy just using the morphe palette and even if you don't have the morphe palette you can easily recreate this with the chocolate bar palette and just get yourself any gold pigment just any colors that you have that works perfectly fine so i look forward to seeing any of you recreate this and happy fall